Hi guys, Natalie here at the Air Zoo again with another fun activity for you guys today. We are gonna be doing coffee filter ink chromatography. So this is what it looks like when it's done. So the materials that you're gonna need for this are a coffee filter, some washable markers. Now for this one, you do need washable markers. No, um, no Sharpies or permanent markers will work. You need washable markers. You're also gonna need a little bit of tape or a binder clip, either one will work. A pencil and some scrap paper or something to work on because the uh, washable markers actually will bleed right through onto your work surface. So you wanna make sure to protect your work surface with some scrap paper, things like that. So the first step is to take your coffee filter and to just use those washable markers to draw a, a design or a color, whatever you want. The important thing is to leave the middle blank. So see how I've got this kind of purple circle, nothing kind of colored in the middle. You wanna leave that center blank, but you can go as far to the edge as you want with your design or other colors. So do that first. And then the next step is gonna to be to fold your coffee filter in half. So I'm gonna fold that in half. And then we're gonna fold in half again. And then fold in half one more time so that you have kind of a little pie slice here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want a little pie slice. And notice how that white uh, tip is kind of blank. We don't want any marker right at that tip there. So we want a nice white blank tip there. The next step is you do need a cup with a little bit of water in it. So I have one started here in this cup. So this is just regular old water. And I have my coffee filter kind of suspended on this pencil using a binder clip. But you could also use tape if you don't have binder clips at your house. You could also use a little bit of tape. But see how I just kind of attach that to my pencil. You can use a pen too, it doesn't matter. Just something to suspend that coffee filter in the water. Now the important thing here is you want just enough water in your cup so that the very tip of the coffee filter is touching the water. You don't want your whole coffee filter submerged and you also don't want um, the part that is colored to be touching the water. If it does, what's gonna happen is the marker is gonna kind of just dissolve right into the water and not travel up the coffee filter, which is what we want. So just make sure that that very tip is touching and then you kind of have to wait a little bit. So notice how when you first do your coffee filter, it's gonna be nice, clean, crisp lines, but then when you submerge it in water, what is gonna happen is the water is gonna quickly absorb up the coffee filter and start to separate out the pigments in your markers. So washable markers are actually kind of a combination of lots of different pigments and chemicals and things like that. So it's a mixture. And what that water is gonna do is actually gonna separate that mixture into, into the different pigments. It's actually really fun to use black markers because black markers are actually made up of lots of different colors. So if you have a couple of different brands of black marker, for example, this is a Rose Art, but say you have a, a Crayola black marker as well, or perhaps another brand, you could do a couple of different brands and it'll be really interesting to see what happens. That black will actually separate into lots of different colors. So after a while, the water will eventually stop traveling up your coffee filter. And what you wanna do is just gently take it out of that water, shake it off just a little bit, and we're gonna unfold that coffee filter and let it dry on some paper towel or newspaper will also work. So you're gonna let that dry and it actually dries pretty quickly. And eventually your end result is gonna be something that looks a little bit like this, kind of tie-dye effect. This one, the water didn't travel up quite as high as the marker did, but you'll get a kind of a tie-dye effect on your coffee filters like this. The black marker, like I said, will separate onto, into some different colors. I had some black in the center here that's kind of separated um, into some different colors here. So all those colors are actually what made up that black marker. And then when they're dry, a couple of fun things that you can do with these, you can actually turn them into little flowers if you want to by kind of bunching them up like this and attaching them to a pencil and you can put them in a vase. You can also even make them into little butterflies like this. You kind of crinkle it and use kind of a pipe cleaner or some string to kind of secure it like this and make neat little butterflies. So you can do a lot of fun things with this or you can make any sort of um, neat art project or they're just pretty on their own as well. It'll, it'll become a little bit more vibrant as it dries. This wet one is a little bit dull at the moment but it'll become more vibrant as it dries. But 
that is basically it for this particular activity. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, get creative with it. Try different markers that you have laying around your house and get creative and see what you can make with these awesome uh, coffee filter chromatography pieces. Until next time, see you guys later.